Guys, welcome back to God's Will Be Watching. You. Just you, not me. <laughs> Do you like the game? Oh, oh, is oh this yeah. The gun? This is the Russian roulette. I'm really into gambling too myself. I'm very familiar with all the gunpowder weapons. Well, this is a seven barrel lucky revolver. This is seven barrel. It's been in my family for centuries, old fellow. It's a good game called Russian Roulette. I don't know what Russian means, but the guy who invented it, he does that doesn't matter. It's what happened when I slide one bullet inside the barrel. At one point, the baby, you face and you a question. If I like your saying, I won't pull the trigger. Either way, you'll be in the hands of Lady Luck. Are you ready? One out of seven chances of boom. Tell me about your organization. You can s suck it. <laughs> oh. For one out of five chances of boom, not many people dare to challenge the holistic empire. So where are you idiots from? Why? It's you can suck it. Oh, come on. If you get shot... One out of three chances for boom. You should be proud of your actions. Just recover your little pride of what you have left and tell me your faction's name. Why? <laughs> for one out of three chances, where are your headquarters? I don't think I can resist what you're perhaps. Oh, shoot, I'm dead. Oh, oh, end of the day. Oh, my goodness. We almost died. You will give us a prize? Of course not, will you want the torture wall or the axe? Forget it. <laughs> this is intense. It's pretty intense. I was like, I always like shiver when I get like the, I always get so scared. You know, I miss having just headquarters. Shh, don't even mention that name while we were here, in here. Remember, whatever happens, never, never confess our true identities. I know, cut me some slack, man. Hey, Liam Neeson. How many times can he get stretched out on things? You look like... Poopy. poopy. <laughs> Don't you die on me, dang it. Don't worry, Abraham won't let me die. Could you need support each other, teamwork, make the torture a lot less easier to stand. If I get bit the dust, we he'd have to face all the violence alone. Any motivation is good, considering the circumstances. <laughs> Wish I'd bring you tomorrow, ID. Can you give me some information? Gotcha. Your painkillers blow you into more pain. Why didn't he just grab all of it? He doesn't do anything all day. Don't worry, we'll be around. He literally, he hides in the vents all day. Why doesn't he grab all three and bring them to me? Instead of just picking one. Oh no, this part sucks. Oh. Everything but the orange light of a cigarette. Oh, when I was block I delayed, but I was wearing a heavy metal t shirt and had long hair. I lived in a world made of coffee. Oh, no. It's black bags over there. The best part is I'll sit through the day. It was fun. But the day the strange hobo with a green eyed gas mask shut up and said, Your world was made in less than 72 hours. Hey, step out of it. Start hitting us, please. Man, how rude. I can't even imagine what you idiots like when you hide. Oh, okay, so he burns that, and like when we don't tell him the truth, he like burns us with it. What happens if you don't? Oh no. Think. I don't want to, because two pulls. It literally takes two pulls to kill him. Uh. So I gotta confess. Oh fuck, yeah, I guess. We had a lot of rich from our mothership on a different ship. It's resting, so you lock aboard a spaceship, always on the run. That's how cowards roll, I guess, but there's still a thing that bugs me. How do you manage to enter the space lab? Oh. Ew. Uh, just me and what we do is some kind of secret entrance I'm not aware of. Bought some cargo axes, caused some black market. I'm sorry, but they're still in my way. What are you? Why? Seventy percent chance. It won't. Yeah, he's not ready to lie yet. Ah, big. Oh, dude. Good chance. 
Oh, Marky, you're giving away all the information. Uh, oh. I'm gonna try to beg. Oh, he's dead. Jack <laughs> died. Oh no. Oh, it's like a, you're just a psychopath. Come on, it's not funny if you don't care. I do what you're expecting. He died on a mission. We're professionals and we sacrifice with crappy lambing. So get sh shut together and ask me the next question. Da da da. I'm not in the mood right now. You think you are smart, but, but I will make you feel sorry. I will make you cry, soldier. You'll need more than a ridiculous set of jokes then. <laughs> Ellipsis. That sucks, he died. And then you keep seeing visions of him. He sits over here. He's so sad. Sometimes I wonder what we're doing with our lives. Yeah, these chairs are a lot of things. Me, we've been a xenophile for three years now, and of course we didn't join them to defend their cause, but I ended up liking it. Xenophile are good people with good intentions, but that's not the only thing that matters. What do you mean? It's all about their methods. You may want to save the world, but great ideas, some of the big question. How much blood was to be spilled in order to succeed? Why, Liam? I mean, I'm a ghost! Jack. He's gone. Uh, center that, please. <laughs> this is go oh, sorry, Abraham. Don't be sorry. He died for a cause. There's no better death than that. That's... That's bull crap. There's no good death. And his blood is on me now. I should have listened to you and aborted the space lab hijack. Hey, what do you expect when you start a revolution? Great change always comes with some blood. Enough, Abraham. I didn't come here for pep talk. Let's focus on getting you out of here alive. Information. No. Spoilers. Doesn't matter. What do you mean by that? Doesn't matter. You die? Mm -mm. <laughs> He'll come in the middle of the night and then the, um, the door will blow open. You may be thinking somebody ends up doing the torture. I don't like the question. It implies that being a torturer is bad. But you know, torture is an art. I descend from proud legacy of professional torturers. Torture is a play violent. Sometimes it isn't even violent at all. Animals don't practice torture. Torture was a craft invented by man. A craft at home to perfection by countless guys like me and me. Torture is an intimate matter between two people. There's always a profound bond between the torture and the victim because you know I'll be the last friend you'll have in this life so I recommend you enjoy the ride tell me everything about your leader well I mean I could lie to you maybe <laughs> yeah, lie or I could punch you in the face no I'll lie a leader is Brian Carissa who is the empire destroyer it doesn't care who are you my name's Chicken Nugget who are you Chicken Nugs Hey, are you deaf? He's gonna pull out my teeth, watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's my tooth! Um, I'ma think again. I don't know if there is a way to save him. I hope there is, cause he's cool. Well, no, there's, well, actually, there's a way to save him. Oh, that was the last one, okay. Well, no, cause... In the ending, like, at the end of a chapter, it does that walking dead thing. Where do you think Liam comes from? Why do you think he's began this revolution? He told me he was from a huge hive tech planet. He was a speck of dust on a very dirty planet. And he came to some kind of rebel puck, a letter big youngsters against the big corporation. There was nothing to do with Xenophilers left. I just always called for an appetite for revolution. He told me he knew all that. Wow, it seems like you two got pretty close. I'm a good listener. I am uh, dead. Bye. I feel like I'm starting to lose my mind, Liam. Come on, Abraham. You're already halfway through it. I can still hear Jack's voice. Everything will get better once you get out of here. What should I bring you tomorrow? Information. Bam! You didn't see that one These are space rebels. We found Sergeant Burden! There's no trace of Corporal Jack Marshmallow. There's the third identified subject. What should we do? Leave him! 
Your top priority is to get Sergeant out of there. Understood. Move back to e -Cook headquarters. Drag the body. No one wants to be left behind. Sergeant Burden. Oh yeah, he's super dead. No, I'm just kidding, I don't know. Okay, Burden received 18 and Jack 11 points of damage. Your attitude has been smart. Jack died. 51% of people, Jack died. 48 people got Jack to live. Jack kept his arm. Jack can lose his arm. I confessed, confessed three times. Yeah. Um, medicine. Your favorite was information. I have thirty four percent. Next chapter This is Everdusk. This is what happened before. See Jack sitting right there. Why are they going backwards? Um, front. Welcome back, Sergeant uh, Sergeant Burden. Well I made this is an eco so how do you go to blah blah blah. This is the time to get back to work. You're familiar infiltrating and xenophile their ranks and sabotage their goals has changed the game rules of the game. This has left us vulnerable to xenophile and potentially commit a biological attack using the Medusa virus at any time. But sir, don't even start. Listen to what your excuses and put it in a situation to begin with. We have to be ready to fight a biological threat. That is your main and only objective now, Sergeant. Is that clear? This yes, sir. It's gonna be so sad. On your next, you'll have to spend several months on the surface of a Zynokos. If you read the mission briefing, you'll know the Zynokos is in the hands of Medusa. You'll be leading an Everdusk side, so there's an archive of a plan A. Your mission be complete and so you Medusa. Stop yelling at Yell play. Sounds like a like punishment to me. It's Do you have a problem with your assignment, Corporal Marshmallow? Two soldiers look after three sides. It's a robot, please. That's enough, Jack. <clears throat> Sorry, sir. Proceed. Mm, I see you have already met your team. Let me introduce them to you. Sarah Kaynor, specialist in psychiatrist in brain genetics. After all we heard, it's a pleasure to be you, legend and last sergeant. Dr. Paul Zinez, lay we experiment bacteriology. Bionics and former chief of the counter virals department of the Constellar Federation. What did you say? Lay nice to meet you, gentlemen. Our job is to Sinecos is so important as fighting terrorists. Lay don't undermine this mission, lay it, lay us, lay a uh, punishment, lay. Garcon. They won't, Doctor. Donald Gaynor, specialist in robotics and electromagnetics. I'll be charged with maintenance of our ship and equipment. As I go, go to the commander earlier, I'm bringing with us experimental robot model. It's, uh, his name is Brandon. Experimental? In what way? Well, uh, it's just a garden project, maybe, of the Federation. Essentially, Brandon is an empathetic droid. He was designed to analyze humans' emotions, the status, to try and please its owners and guests. The project was deemed a failure, though, since after a couple of years, the empathetic model became overwritten with its owner's personality. The droid suffered an existential crisis when it desired consequences. How useful. This model has been customized by me, personally, by formatting its brain. Once here, I promise you, Brandon is totally safe. Also, it's not for pleasure. When requested, he'll give us various readings of our performance, moods, and morale. Throughout a mission, he can't help us normally prove our productive. Quite freaky, in my opinion. I'm such a safe, but I'll do my best, sir. Come on, such you mean to him. You may end up liking him. Gentlemen, you'll have to talk to personal details on the ship to sign, of course. Dismissed. Lay, wait a second. <laughs> what about the dog? What about the dog? The fluke doctor, it's not like I have the dog inside the lab. My butt. His dang dog has served to have just better than most people. Mm. Knock it off, Jack. Dr. Simmons only what's best for the mission. I'll end up like Martin, Martin eventually. I'm gonna throw the stick in it. Can I ask you something, Burden? I'm always afraid if one follows when you ask that, but shoot. 
Did you really expect to dismantle Zeta Father successfully, Dad? Man, I don't know. Liam is a good guy, though I may not agree with his methods, but I can respect his cause. In any case, it was work e cook rather than. Okay, I'm not doing this voice anymore. It hurts my throat. <laughs> It would have been a waste of a bullet to shoot such a brave man. I thought we joined ECUK so we could, wouldn't have to solve all of our problems by killing people. I thought you joined the Everdust because the Council or Federation put a price on your head. Haha, <laughs> yeah, and also that. Good boy. Yeah, let's keep playing with the dog. Screw everybody else. <laughs> well, I like Xenophile too, but ultimately they're terrorists in the end. In the eyes of the Constellar Federation, yes. For me, the Federation seems a much greater threat than Xenophiler. At least Xenophiler fights for freedom and equality. It's history that'll put a label on Liam for me. He's a hero. You really like that blonde head punk, don't you? Well, the Fed forced us to kill people, and they want uh, and when I wanted to stop, they hunted me. Liam risked his, uh, his butt to get us out of that torture facility. That settled whatever reservations I had towards him personally. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait. Is this after? I, what do you think the team would have here besides the doctor not liking Marvin? They seem nice enough, very professional, and focused on the mission. Sarah is cute. It's a pity she's married to that engineer. So, yes, I like them. Being stuck on this rock is going to be boring as hell, though. After three years in Xenophile and surviving that madman's torture... I thought you'd enjoy a vacation. A vacation needs sun, beer, and hotties. Sinead is, is just a giant, ice-ridden prison with a deadly airborne virus spreading across its surface. Good boy. Launched the stick again. Man, I missed Marvin during all those years undercover. He missed you too, Sarge. Okay, that's it. We have to stop playing with the dog now. What? Yeah, I know. We should have just had the whole episode playing with Marvin, but we can't. Oh. And then she said, I thought it was a mercurial snake. That's dirty. Man, you were sick. Lay, welcome back, gentlemen. But that's a robot. How's right? the research going, Doc? I'm confused. Lay, excellent. Slay Sarah, lay and lay I. <laughs> Detected what causes pleuralysis within the Medusa virus. It attacks the muscles with a Perez system, blah, 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 live net. But also freezes the user, inducing a chemical coma. It then keeps the vital functioning running to keep to create a perfect environment for spores to start growing in the victim's body. Sarah and I reduce the amount of possible compounds to compounds to five, so we are pretty close to finding a cure. We'll probably be able to leave Sinekin in a couple months. A couple of months. Oh man. Cheer up, Jack. The estimated completion of the project was self a year and a half. What? I have to start reading the mission briefings? I would have deserved, uh, deserted if I knew that. Look, it's Liam. And this bearded guy. And look, it's the witch doctor. Hello, everybody. Abraham, man, how are you? Or should I call you Sergeant Burden? Liam... Don't worry, man. You had the job to do. No hard feelings. I'm glad you made it out of that holistic empire prison after all. You and your team will come in handy at, right out now. For, uh, correct me if I'm believing wrong, but I believe you heard researching a cure for the Medusa virus. Cut the crap, Liam. What do you want? How rude, Jack. After all we've been through, I hoped I'd, you'd be glad to see me again. To answer the question, though, I wanted to give us the cure for the Medusa virus, and I want it now. Excuse us, Mr. Liam, but it's far from discovering one at this point. There's still a lot of work to do. Oh, that's too bad, especially since I'm a, in a little bit of a rush right now. Fine, I'll tell you what. Discover your cure by tomorrow, and you won't die. What? That's impossible. Don't underestimate yourself, lady. The threat of death can be a wonderful motivator. That's why they... That they say Necess necessity is the mother of invention. No, shaman, can you provide that motivation? Indeed, C4 has motivated humanity, witch doctor, for centuries. Jack, calm down. Leo, listen to me. You're a reasonable man. I'm sure we could get a peaceful solution out here. Oh no, 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 no. You want to talk your way out of this one, Sergeant? I know you bared him. You can survive this just like everything else. After all, you're a legend, aren't you? Time to prove it. Liam. So is this afterwards? Cause he's dead. 
Unless they brought him back to life somehow. Fluke. Fluked Zetophile or Fluke. Oh my gods, we are going to die, are we? This can't be happening. Everybody calm down. Liam is not an assassin. He wouldn't kill us for mere revenge. Tell me you're not defending that son of a... a bloop? Don't lose your cool, Jack. If he wanted us dead, we'd be dead. Be we better start working fast and smart. Doctor, how much time do we have? Based on our research so far, we'll be dead in about 27 hours. That's plenty of time, Brandon. How much debris do we need to have blocking the exit? Dot, dot, dot. 15, 1,520 kilograms, exactly, sir. That's a earth. I guess. Okay, that's a lot of work. But if we cooperate, we can dig all that schlizzle out of there in time. You forget the fact that we are all infected. Even if we... Yeah. Even if we get out, we'll be dead. Understood. Your mission, then, is to find a cure in less than 48 hours. That's impossible. Doctor. Well, there are some lines that we can cross in order to speed up the investigation. Cross them. What do you mean, doctor? Human experimentation. Are you insane? Are you just going to blindly shoot random compounds into ourselves? Well, we can choose between a certain death or a possible death. I don't know about you, but I'll take my chances. Sounds like a plan. Okay, listen everybody, start digging and follow the doctor's instructions. We have to avoid overworking ourselves in this situation. Being well rested is just as important as working. I think Sarah and I can produce some synthetic acceleration accelerants through the use of the com chemical computer. Adrenaline will speed up work. Incentives can help you rest better. There are some drawbacks, Doctor. Adrenaline will make you feel pretty tired after a while due to overworking. Incentives will leave a person knocked out for a good bit of time, but it's a good way to recover faster. Right. In any case, we should mainly on developing an antidote. What steps should we follow, Doctor? Step on one, produce any antidote. Or step one, produce any antidote. Step two, inject it into someone. Step three, pray. Finally, step four, if the subject in there's the shot. We analyze their blood and see what went wrong and uh, what went right and what went wrong. Then oh, repeat. Man, gonna do it on the dog. No, you don't have to do it on the dog. In a little, uh, I'm a little lost. Don't worry. Focus on leading the team. If you want to know more about any aspect of the research, just ask me. Okay. Since time is crucial, we should work in spans of 30 minutes. Use the clock on the right top corner of the computer to begin work sessions. After every 30 minutes of work. We can reassess the situation. Okay, Everdust team, let's... Wait a second. What? The power supply seems to have been damaged. We can't let the battery drop below zero over screwed. And what the hell... How the hell do we avoid that? Sir, I volunteer myself to connect the, to the broken power supply. Donald, is it safe? Well, Brandon is tough as hell. It might actually work. And I can do maintenance on him so he doesn't get toasted. Or you can sacrifice me and leave me as a permanent connection, so power won't be a problem anymore. No way. I need you digging as much as everybody else. Yes, sir. Okay, Everdust team. Oh, sorry. Yes, doctor. Sorry, just wanted to remind you that what we need in the research prior. If any of the experience, experience paralysis, we can fight it with a temporary jolt of electricity. That's why the defibrillator unit is here. I can do the preparations. We can carve up to three charges on standby for use. And in the meantime, you get to skip digging, don't you? Those are the benefits of having a wider set of skills other than just shooting things. Hey, that's enough. Okay, everyone. What they have to do. Everdust team. Burden? What? Just kidding, go ahead. Dot, dot, dot. I give up. Everyone do your best. Our lives are riding on us. Everdust team, let's do this. Okay, guys. That's the end. We'll see you next time.